Okay, well, as you see, I fixed it. Uh, just like the first one I made, this is a one inch chamber now. I was trying to go three quarter because it gets kind of warm if you really get good smoke going. Uh, so I will now do a lot of sanding and uh, work on this stem some more. Might try to knock this all off with the bandsaw real quick to try to uh, speed up the process a little bit. But uh, top and bottom all around, just run the, just feed it into the bandsaw, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. What I'm doing now is working on the seam. Uh, these are some of the tools I use. Just a uh, nice little file. One of the sides, if you see this side, smooth. So this edge. So you can rest that against the tenon and uh, not gouge it. Um, some of my grandpa's hand carving tools. Uh, these knives you can shave with. There's I got tons of them. Um, between that file and then this little guy is uh, the ones I like. Uh, bear with me because I'm holding the camera with one hand. So let me. Uh, Put the uh, stem in the pipe, and I'll show you how close I am. Okay, here we go. You see, I took it on the bench grinder, so they're all the same. That line on the end is roughly how the uh, it's my mark, so that's the best seam I can get. And you notice I'm almost there. A little bit more. I got a gap on this side, so I got a file on this side, but it's all flush over half of it. So I got a little gap right there. So that's what I'm working on now. Get that final. Then I'll worry about the shape of the stem. I think I'm going to go to a taper. Like come out just a little bit and then fade into a, a narrow one so we'll see all right you kind of see it coming together just the rough shape of the stem and as you can see the stem is not too heavy it sits how it's supposed to sit so I'm going to work on it some more Work on the transition a bit. Alright, guys, there did some work on the stem. Let's see if we can get somewhere it'll show up without a bullet glare. Kind of a steep slope at the top, gradual slope at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it, but I feather the tip out tremendously. As much as I can reach down in there with the tools, be a great marble stem. It's gonna be black, solid black. That marble stem, these gonna look great. All right, now it's time to sanding. Uh, gonna go all the way up to uh, 2,000 grit. Start with, uh, I think at 100. Goes up from there. Uh, do it all by hand. Uh, so. Takes me a little bit. So, next time I see this, I'll have this thing sanded down, prepped, and ready for stain. Alright. You see, I'm working on it. Come on, camp. Oh, there you go. Uh, now I'm down to about 100 or up to 150 sandpaper. I'm trying to get some of the deep stuff out of the stem right now. Uh, working on it. Take some time. By hand. With all my sandpaper. See all my power of sandpaper. That's what I'm going with. Well, we're still working through the sandpaper. You see everything's starting to smooth out. That's just uh, something in the wood. 
it is completely glass smooth. Uh, got the majority of the big scratches out of the stem. Again, this is all going to be black. Don't worry, that's smooth too. It's just something in the woods that how it got burnt or something, which is just weird. So, I'm still working on it. Alright guys, getting ready to tint here, and the tint that I use, or the stain I use, I mean, is, uh, I'm about to see what I call it, tint, it's because it's called Trans Tint, it's a two ounce bottle, you put one ounce per quart of denatured alcohol, so yeah, that's, one bottle will make a half a gallon, roughly, if I did my math right, it's late. I'm tired. Uh, so, yeah, one ounce of tin. Tin. I've used that much. Um, I still got half a bottle left. So, this is going to be straight black. Uh, pretty simple to put on, just wherever you, you're going to stain, it's going to drip. So, I'm just using a little brush. And it's just simple as just painting. You just Dab it on. It's a little makeshift stand. So, I keep repeating that. I'll show you before when I get done. Because there'll be several coats. To a bigger brush. You really just want to coat this on there to so get every little spot. Keep doing this over and over and over again. Alright. There it is. Stained. Come on, camera folks. There we go. Stained. Got to go polish. Let's see. Let me see how I'm put it together. You can see this. The stem. Kind of pretty neat. I um, forgot to mention that tent that I get used comes from Woodcraft uh, is where I got it. I'm sure you can find other places. Also here's my uh, three wheel polishing kit and I'm fixing to go through the adapter on the bench grinder and polish. And uh, it's three steps. You got uh, three different wheels, three different compounds. Last one's a wax. Um, you get this thing on the mirror finish so I will go polish it now. Alright, here's the beer shaft on the bench grinder. Um, that wheel kit comes with this adapter. And what you do is put it on. Didn't come with this. This is mine. Tighten the uh, Allen heads. Or monkey wrench, what do you want to call them? Get a little, little wobbly. Let's see if we can't fix the edge. I don't know if it's going to be better than that. It's going to have some wobble to it. 
next one to do is a pipe. This will be the first one, first compound. It's going to be the Tripoli. This is the Tripoli wheel. In this kit, they're all labeled. It's like this one says Trip for the Tripoli. Um, this one, this is WDIA White Diamond because White Diamond in the bottom is the wax. So. Just throw that on there. Fire it up. It's noisy. So I'm gonna set the phone down, pause it, go through all three wheels, and show what it's like when I get done. All right, this is after the first wheel. Come on, phone stuff. This, there we go. Already got a good shine to it. And it only gets better from here on out. We got stems cleaned up very nice. Looking good. Alright, that's it after the white diamond. Still got another wheel to go. There we go, focuses. So it's already shining, see the grain in it still. Right there in the front, right there, is where it gets thin. There's where the lightest of the wood I made the pipe. Everything else, when you sand this Brazilian cherry, it starts turning dark. Except for right, right there, even all the ones I've made, right there's a light spot. So, it's kind of a cool characteristic of the, of this wood. Uh, my stem starting to shine real good. So one more wheel to go. The buffing wheel with the wax. Oh, there it is. After the wax. Polish. Kind of hard to see, but you can still see some of the grain. You can see it, especially the top and bottom, it really shows. And there's that light spot right there. There you go, guys. All black.